Hello, I'm the One Ring Queen Man. Today with my first Let's Play. This is really one of my really old childhood games. It's like the second game that I ever played. So I found this here today, and we're gonna start it out. Look, it's even just one year older than I am. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah, one year younger than I am, of course. And yeah, here to start it out. Oh yeah, green screens and this theme. Ah, nostalgia. Here he is. He's a puff on it. Happy for me. He's a here. He's so, he's so cute, but he gets a little puppy because he devours all his friends. He's got an even problem. Okay, I'll stop quoting rental floss song songs. But seriously. Maybe it's inappropriate, but Jack Thompson, you're going after FPS games and such when you easily could pick on this I mean come on is that is that soda bottles and they're supposed to replenish your health so FPS games no nope, too violent too realistic but this doesn't this really promote obesity I mean Come on. Or at least something else since you're eating mushrooms. Oh yeah, it's star here. This is... Oh yeah. Then proceeding. Fire off into the forest. Okay. Oh, hello there. And... Just... And shoot. And we can all agree that it is bombs, right? Then why do they only explode on contact? You see. Okay, that one didn't. Now dead! Haha! <laughs> and still. And remember, kids, eat plenty of food, of fruits, to keep yourself healthy. Oh. And pigs! Just. Can you imagine? You're eating a pig around twice the size of yourself and even bricks? <laughs> Man, it's so corny and stupid and die piggy! Oh, no miss. Piggy reference. Oh my god. So in here, since it says in, so I should go inside. Yeah. Piggy! And just, if you, the controls are pretty simple in this game. If you wanna inhale, it's B. Oh, wait, it's A. If you wanna jump, it's B. Down and up. This is actually funny because if you press up, you inhale and you can fly. And that was just the A button. Piggy! No more mushroom ghost! Die! <laughs> but yeah, I, s I really wanted to do this since it's both a really nostalgic game to me, but also my next my next countdown top ten dragons in gaming. It's um, it's gonna be late. Yeah, I know it's not laziness, but there's problem with the footage. So, bus time. Oh yeah, this one classic for all Kirby fans. And just inhale the apples and shoot. And remember, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Oh, damn it. Just a matter if you can hit him. 
Stupid apple. Watch out! I'm getting invaded by apples! Oh, poor Willy. I will... No, my dance can be! Cubby! Oh, I just remember that being the best of it. And this stage, um, I don't really think that it's all that spectacular if you compare it to some of the other levels, but oh yeah, this one, this one, you're gonna love this. Ah, stupid microphone! <laughs> So, so okay, this one leads to one part of the castle, obvious, and this to another part. Um, yeah. Since when, ha since when have this become Pac-Man? I mean, come on, I'm eating ghost? Oh, no more microphone, okay, and... And bombs and since we have learned it from last time, sudden. Oh, sorry. It's just I'm I'm not from any English-speaking countries, so sometimes I might work in words in another language. Did I just swallow Majo's mask? Okay, this these flying spaghetti head things you see here, you can't swallow them. Because you can see here, they're pretty much unswallowable. So what you're gonna do is just inflate yourself and burst out. And I have no idea why that sounded so wrong. <laughs> and yeah. Um Yeah. Then fire away, Kirby! Fly the stars! And this is maybe be this is this maybe explains why I don't really like this level. I don't really see the purpose or the connection to the bosses. So just in here and later. But I don't really see a connection to them because in the first level it's a willow. Yes, we can see that. And the other ones they actually kind of resemble what what's in what the levels like and what's in there but this one is kind of unknown okay i'm gonna leave them these for now because in here there's some goodies ghostbuster <laughs> okay um, just first the coke to get some heal, and this one, I think it's ice cream, but really don't know. But you're gonna love this. Just ah, oh yeah, infinity burst. <laughs> okay, inappropriate, but yeah. Just rapidly B button while you're in this mode and you'll shoot and it's and it doesn't matter who you if you have swallowed anyone i i think that's the only thing you can't do in that stage in that form because um i don't really think you can swallow anything or inhale oh look i inhaled a bat and that was mask <laughs> Oh yeah. And a witch. Okay, these spike balls things ripoffs from Mario. Yeah, you can't inhale them. Just touch them and you take damage. But that's Captain Abrius strikes again. Or just Captain Kirby strikes again. Oh yeah, the boss level. It's. I wouldn't say it's bad because you're just gonna be quick and. Oh, damn it! And know what the hell you're doing. 
then you'll be fine. But oh yeah, this is the trick. You're just down here. Oh, okay. Let me see. Ah, oh, damn it! Inhaler box. Wait for them to come out, just behind them, and red and repeat. If that's even how you see it. But then, then hey. dance. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I don't know. Maybe it's just because that I'm such nostalgic right now. But I'm really enjoy this. Oh yeah, the floating islands. I love this level. Maybe it's because of the exotic elements on it, of it. But I just, I just like it. And oh yeah, you see before. Okay, I'll reference it again if I see when you see it because there are more of those coconuts. right around so yeah you it's you can basically just inhale and use them as as weapons again oh a uh, flying squid squid uh yeah okay they are cr they're kind of annoying but else oh yeah this one i'm gonna Oh yeah, these you can actually inhale them and use them as weapons, but okay, suck it. Ah, oh, microphone of doom. <laughs> okay. Uh. Uh, will it don't know what that's all about? Maybe. Maybe it was about to shoot. Or uh, maybe it's the thing that the. Uh... Yeah, when uh, when the shell is closed, you uh... ah oh, damn it, I forgot respawning enemies. That's maybe one of the few things that's annoying, but else it's. Quite a good game, actually, in my opinion. It's nothing of new standards and uh, graphics, kinda unneeded, but hey! Oh, okay, n not unneeded, but um, old, outdated, but still, it's pretty good for itself if you just know what the hell it's in, it is. And I think that's a common, um, common misception of games nowadays. The screw graphics, if you can see this, it can still be a good game. So out there anyone graphic doesn't make a game. It's like with Avatar actually. The movie if you not the anime because I actually heard quite a good things about the anime. Even though that I haven't seen the anime. But, okay, a few episodes I've seen, so not completely. But um, that was actually pretty good. Okay, I'm talking about the anime, not the movie. Movie is a ripoff. Oh, oh yeah, I. Okay, if you continue up on there. Um, like in the cave where we were before, you were actually able to get more healing items. But right now, I just screwed up. Ah, infinity! Screw it! Okay, at least I got a life up, so or uh, one up. So I'm not completely pissed, but. 
Yeah, okay, that's maybe something I said wrong with this ability. It's not invincibility you get. It's just infinity of firepower. But still, to shoot this crazily? Ah, oh, I enjoy it. Okay, this one, more healing items and one-ups. Maybe that's really why I love this game, this level so much. There's so many one-ups. So, yeah, that's a common thing. That's actually a thing you can see with the cannons. They always shoot with like three cannonballs at the at our in a row. So like one, two, three, pause. One, two, three, pause. So just if you can count that, you should be fine. And oh yeah, this one, this level, there isn't any mini bosses in this level, so you should be fine. And at start I actually thought that one was in a cannon, but yeah, it's in a whale. It's in the blowing hole of the whale. And now, at First, when I played this game as a little, I thought I was stepping into the heaven, the barbershop's heaven, but yeah, okay, it's just sky up in the skies, but seriously, these striped thingies here, doesn't that kind of look like the old kind of uh, cylinder red and white, white things from like the... 50s or so very long before my time so anyhow oh yeah this one the lemon oh yeah just take this and I'll get into my favorite boss of this game okay I, maybe it's because that I actually have infinite have given infinite infinite Firepower, that's the word. Inf infinite. That's maybe why I love this battle. Or maybe it's just the music that's so out of place. And yeah, not my favorite boss of all time, but pretty good in my intention. And you will never guess where the next level takes place. But First, we have Kirby Dance! Kirby! Okay. Um, maybe the sound from... from a console is a little low, but... I I still think that you're gonna hear this alright. Oh, yeah, I remember as a kid I was nearly snoring every time I just heard this theme. So every time I just played this level, I was near asleep. And cannon's point says, "You fool the cannon!" Oh yeah, these piggies. You don't want to inhale them because look, they chase you. And they explode in midair if you even try. So what you're gonna do is inhale and burst. Just inhale air. Ah, Kirby flying! Ah, damn it! Damn it, the mines. Okay, screw that before. That actually looked like Majora's Mask. And they use um, umbrellas in heaven. Apparently so. Even the cannons use. Even the cannons use umbrellas in heaven. Oh yeah, these little guard thingies. I remember when I remember them being. Annoying. So there and 
Hey, cool ghosts. If you didn't see it, they actually had sun shades. Oh yeah, that's the word. Sun shades. On. Ah, damn it. Saw them. I mean, that's the way. Oh, what you want to say. Um, just the word I just said. Just try and look it up if you wanna. It's it's in Danish. It's spelled S O, as in a double A, and a D A N N. Um, sorry, just paused there for a minute. But that's maybe why so many outlandish people think that Danish is so hard. Maybe that these three letters are the A, the A, and the O. They are just... <laughs> I, I really don't think I could pronounce them right in any outlandish, in any outlandish language. Okay, maybe German. But... Okay, they also had before time some relations to our Scandinavians, so that's not the case. Oh yeah, this one quite annoying because you have to time it, but um, not really much. And yeah, no, no one, no one, no secret password or anything. So. Inside the door, and hey, it's a minibus, and it's a floating eye that shoots cannonballs. And what the fuck is that? Okay, this minibus actually is pretty damn easy. Just have your aim right. That's the only thing. So it might be kind of annoying for some players, but not much. Hey! The eyeball is sent out of existence! And Kirby right the star! That was actually quite interesting because normally you just write the star before a boss, but Bonza into the water and Kirby sings and drowns. Okay, no, he still lives and Lemon Time! Yeah, you can't kill the spike balls either with this. Yeah, I actually tried once just blasting all the blocks here. That that isn't there isn't anything else. No hidden doors or anything, just blank wall. But looking at the bright side, I would rather have just a plain wall than Pink Floyd's The Wall. Don't misunderstand me. I like that movie, but it's just too acid trippy for my taste. So, oh yeah, Kirby blasted like a bitch. That was a close call. And yeah. And Kirby is flying in space! I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. The skate believe Father Kirby didn't retard. Okay, sorry. I just asked what the hell happened to you, Kirby? I'm I'm sorry. Once again, once again, Danish language, and now we had the stage boss, and it's a cloud with eye. And this one was, oh uh, God, it was annoying. Even the first time I faced this boss. Sorry. Little break. I'll cut. Sorry, 
Yeah, sorry about that. It's just... It's... So, just... Two more blocks to go. So, just a little there, and burst it. No more armor, but Capitans! Oh, sorry, wrong button. Capitans! And we come to the final stage, Mount DDD. Also the name of the final boss, except not mount, that's, okay, it's getting complicated, you know what I mean. I just, and here's the thing, all the, oh, all of these doors, they, yeah, it's back to their basic levels and just, when you have defeated all of those, just inside here. And I'll start with the one I hate the most. Not that I hate the level, I actually think the level is quite nice, but... Just the boss is annoying. Oh yeah, this one I should have told before. And um, excuse me a bit. Okay, I'm I'm back again. Now where oh yeah, of course. Um the Kirby clone I just fell into. I don't really know what that's supposed to be in the story, but it's kinda like a temporarily uh, microphone actually. Damn you gravity Okay, um the game doesn't really count the score of your, yeah, how much you actually earned in score. So actually your score is kinda unnecessary. So just bus time. And this one we all know and uh, annoying, annoying. Annoying. Okay, you might say that I actually suck at this bus and therefore I hate it because now you actually have proof of it. But nevertheless, I think this bus is annoying. You see that? I'm uh, okay, once again... Bonsai... Okay, Timber Kirby! And the Eyeball Cloud! Once again, the Eyeball Cloud! Fuck, I hate you, Eyeball Cloud! And just shooting. F I can only use your minions. Maybe it's because I. It's so damn long since I actually played this game. But I still don't like this boss. It's just annoying. Okay, I start to see a pattern here. But still, it's annoying. But okay, I think this boss is slightly more annoying because it's unpredictable. It's unpredictable. 
when they're actually going to come out. Okay, the Majora Mask thing, yeah, it's only gonna activate once you pass it. Like, there. Fuck you. Sorry. Wrong button, I'll... I'll post it once again, but... Yeah, you don't really me remember those kinda... Kinda, what the fuck is the name? Uh, the animal... These, these things. Yeah, you really don't remember them in this. Yeah, it was in the door that I didn't enter. Try exploring this game yourself, then you'll find it. But we have a Kirby here and he's shape shiftingly dancing? Anyhow, Bonsai! And bus time. Damn it! Ah, god damn it, asshole! Special delivery! Okay, really, yeah, okay, that was forced, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <sighs> this just isn't one of my favorite bosses, okay? But still, even though I say quite a bit about their bosses being stupid and such, I really don't like, I really don't hate them. I just found them annoying. And not annoying to the unbearable part, just just kind of annoying. So it's not even completely you can go go out rage on them or rate on them. So they're just slightly annoying, and they burst. Ah, yeah. And then the willow. <laughs> Isn't he cute? He's so cute, but he gets a little burpy because he threw out on his friend. He's like a. If a sucker becoming a prop, please say quick, sit your pants if you can, so also please, please. Let's stop poop and roll, cause it won't eat your whole if you taste like a fresh bag of disease. Okay. So, uh, I'm sorry, it's just so catchy. Parental Floss, if you ever see this, your songs are so goddamn catchy. And actually, yeah, okay, you might have guessed it already. I'm, su I'm a subscriber to him, okay? Even though a lot of the games that he f makes lyrics to, I haven't played. I haven't played a lot of the Mega Man games, for example. I just test some of them. So, and of course, if you haven't noticed, I've saved my favorite to the last moment. Coconut! Die Squid! And there goes the oyster. And weird jumping Tiki Man thing. And oh, what the fuck. And another dancing Kirby. Bonsai! And there's even those freaky Tiki Men in heaven. And in barbershop heaven, I don't know. 
But the lemon time! Okay. And eating a coconut, show them there. Eat a baby squid. And Peter haven't sued me yet. Oh, fuck me. And Bonsai, I'm dancing Kirby. There you go. And lemon time. No, I'm not gonna sing lemon tree over this. It's just inappropriate. Okay. Okay, I know the lyrics to the chorus, so... And now for the final boss, okay? Actually, I'm... When I was a kid, I didn't really defeat DDD. It was only recently that I actually learned how to defeat him. And I actually tried to defeat him. What you're supposed to do is avoid him until he either makes a body slam on you or tries to hit you with a hammer. Then try to swallow the star and shoot back at him. Like this. But you have to time it because he will be... When he raises his armor, he's gonna hit you where you last standed. Oh, the swallow attack! And yeah, DDD, he's pretty damn tough. I don't really... I'm not even sure if you can see it, but in the later games he's portrayed as a penguin of sort. But he, can you really tell what the fuck he actually is? And stop trying to swallow me. Ah, you should. You should have. You actually have the. You have more eating problems than Kirby have! God damn it! Oh yeah, he can also do a high hammer jump hit thing. No mind, okay? And here's the thing. Damn it. And the best the best thing you can do against his devouring attack is just fly away. Don't even try to dodge it. It wouldn't work. Just fly away. Okay, I got pretty damn low, but okay, once again, and before you say anything, I'm not gonna do the game plus, because it's just the same game as this, but with different kind of enemy sprites. They still have the same pattern, move pattern and such, there's just nothing more else to it. But here, once again, nostalgic fight for the win, and DDD, 
You defeated me as a kid. I'm gonna kill you for this. You ruined so much of my gaming enjoyment for this. Ah! Oh, I remember how frustrated I was against you. And wouldn't you please just give me a star to spin already? There. And I'm not talking about that. Ah, oh, damn box. That's that's maybe the only thing that I can say else about the day today. It's really quite hot. And yeah, it's like we have had like um five um two weeks or so with nothing but rain and rain and cloudy skies and uh Nearly the, this entire July have been grey and wet. Uh, and then there's today and yesterday, which actually was pretty damn good. And still, I'm in door playing this. You know, I'm treating you nicely. You like a uh, five subscribers, I that actually see this on basis okay but as I said earlier I'm gonna make I'm gonna make my top 10 dragons in gaming I just have to work on the footage okay just nothing more and he swallows and he swallows and he Uses a hammer, hammer, or so, and body slams and body slams. And now you're gonna see a game over. Cunt. Continue already. Okay, battle once again. At least I don't have to play the bosses again. So, here we are again. And Body Slam! Since this isn't a Pokemon battle... Um... And if you say it as a Pokemon battle, then try looking at the attacks. Um, okay, swallow, tackle, body slam, and slam. It's pretty weak for the final boss, actually. In a Pokemon battle, you at least have to suspect some pretty damn hard attacks and some Pokemon that even have KO attacks, but on the other hand, try looking at Kirby's Pokemon attack then. Um, swallow, fly, um, spit out. Sorry. Just a pause. Sorry, just another disturbance and a 
ourselves first. Okay. Sorry, once again, another disturbance and I was just thirsty, but surely that break will be cut out when I start editing, editing this. But that's another case. Stop swallowing, DD, D. And you keep battling and swallowing and maybe I'm just not good at actually getting the stars. And now he's shot out of existence and you see the castle and he shot out of existence and five stars and Kirby dance. And what's happening to the castle? Oh my god, Kirby's big! And food? Oh yeah, well, and why is he carrying the castle? And Okay, that's maybe one thing I can say about this game that kind of sucks. The story of the game is actually only somewhat, somewhat explained. Okay, sorry. This rubs. Okay. What else I was starting to say, it's only somewhat explained in the ending that this mission actually was just, and thanks to all the players, oh yeah, that uh, I was saying, oh yeah, it's only somewhat explained that the story actually is in Kirby just going out and getting the food that DDD has, and Kirby's small again, and Oh, lucky stars. And Kirby's hailed while it's raining food. And goodbye, Kirby. Thank you for playing. <laughs> and yes, this is the code if you want to get the extra game. And you see Didi just downright jaw and he's raiding at you and get lost and just up A and select for the extra game but I'm not going to do the extra game in any way it's crazy you can get a run somewhere and the emulator it's nothing exceptionally bad or hard to get just oh um, I'm sure that eBay or so have the original cartridges or so so you can play it on live so but okay now I'm rambling this is my with this was my let's play of Kirby Streamland for the Game Boy the original Game Boy and hope you enjoy the next video will be top 10 dragons in gaming and see you later